Hey, how you guys, Libra? Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And please remember to check out your other sign videos, your moon, your rising, your Venus. My readings, they do meld together. Here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. And here you are, Libra, one of your cards, major card. Number three, the Empress. This represents you or a Taurus. This card and your sign is ruled by Venus. This is a female energy that it works for harmony. It's a maternal energy. This is a very strong female energy at work here. It's a creative force that brings and reconciles people together. It represents material abundance, fertility, fruitfulness. This can represent someone, a mother, or someone nurturing like a mother. It's the wisdom of a female a woman, doesn't have to be a female. All of us have female energies in us, even men. This is someone that has gained knowledge by worldly experiences. She represents the productive and generative activities in the subconscious, as in verses the high priestess, which is the virgin state of the subconscious. This is an omen for success, a symbol of hope, a very powerful, positive energy. This is someone that is the whole package. They're irresistible. They're all four queens put together. It's emotional control and congeniality. This is someone that always speaks the truth and their fear. This is someone that is creative and compassionate. They're doting and nurturing, generous. This is someone that is committed to union, and they're a very good friend. They could be supportive emotionally and financially. Here's your second card, and it's the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Libra. You may or may not be aware of this. Number seven of the Major Arcana, the Chariot. This is a restrictive influence at this time because we read these energies in reverse. The Chariot always gets where they're going, and this is a delay. Perhaps it's just not time yet. This could be someone that might even have some lack of will to continue or they need to look for a direction, or they're changing direction. This is someone that's holding their horses. They need to focus on their drive and ambition. It's a hesitation or a scattered energy. Self-doubt. It's letting obstacles distract you or get in your way, then that prevents your forward progression. It could be fear of making the wrong decision. So you'll need to put in the work to make corrections. You'll need to control the ego and make choices and take responsibility for your inner resistance. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences. This is the future. Queen of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is someone who is a dreamer. They're very loving. They're committed to 
emotions, and relationships. They have a remarkable sensitivity. This is someone that is focused on love. They're a cardinal energy. This is Cancer as a queen. They're an emotional creative force. This is someone that is focused on emotional matters. They have a heart of gold, but they don't always let people see it. They're a healer, a good parent, they're a good spouse. They could also be a gifted psychic. They're empathetic and emotional. They can be moody and high strung. They may even obsess over whatever emotion has taken hold of them. This is a reminder to trust your inner voice and feelings and let it flow. You can rely on your gut feelings and you can make other feel, people feel at ease. There may be an emotional investment, a deep controlled love, someone immersed in love. Your fourth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Libra, the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a golden opportunity, a gift from the universe. It's like having a mini sun in your reading. And uh, the fool was under this card, a new beginning, and taking a leap. The Ace of Pentacles is new money, new success, new opportunities, an opportunity for real concrete growth. It's life enhancing. It's a potential to build a solid foundation for the future. It's money in your hand, a strong start, a beneficial opening, a window of opportunity. So pay attention so you do not miss it. This is a shift of focus, and fresh inspiration can be found in nature. It's planting seeds and saying yes to love. This is a fresh start. It could be through work or business, and you'll feel blessed and secure in this relationship. They bring in a grounding influence. It's being practical and productive, healthy and prosperous. It's breaking new ground, and it's seeking wealth and security. It's offering or receiving money and creating value. It also stands for worldly status and achievement, and you may recognize your calling as fate and chance. Here's your combination meanings. The Empress with the chariot for your challenge is self-doubt and distractions and scattering your energy. It's a delay to a life-changing accomplishment. Self-doubt can prevent your forward progress. And there is a need to really focus on a goal and then nurture the situation. The Empress with the Queen of Cups for your future is gestation. This is a female energy. They're, this person, they could be a natural therapist. They foster growth and beauty and abundance. This person can be the object of affection. They have a very feminine manner. They have style. And they have beauty. And they're led by emotion. The Empress with the Ace of Pentacles, what you're not speaking of, is a solid start. And this is a golden opportunity or a gift. And in somebody's case, it could also be a new mother. It's also gestation. The Chariot with the Queen of Cups for the challenge to the future is a need to control the ego. These are both Cancer cards. 
Cancer is the cardinal emotional force. And this is moving forward over loneliness. And it is a definite delivery of love that's coming in and affection. The chariot card with the ace of pentacles is the challenge you're not speaking of is travel. Or it has to do with vehicle documents. This could be an offer, but not what you expected. Maybe it's too low. This is the power to decide where the journey goes and embracing change with speed and mental focus, and that will get you going. The Queen of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles is the future that you're not speaking of, is an investment of emotions and feelings, and feeling this opportunity could be practical and emotionally fulfilling. Here's your oracle cards. Here's your angel number oracle card. 0505. Zero five, zero five. A lot of fives have been coming out in the angel readings. Unexpected shift, divine intervention, sudden challenges, love, pleasant surprises, and gut feeling. Ay, 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 this number serves as a gentle nudge to pursue, pursue whatever interests you the most. It's possible that something could rock your boat, but you will end up exactly where you belong, which could be in somebody's arms. Your dream job or abroad, etc. Here's your spirit message oracle. Never allow yourself to be taken for granted. It is better to remove yourself from the situation than to be treated less than you deserve. You are precious. You are worthy. Here's your time oracle. Faster than you think. Faster than you think, Libra. And you do have that chariot in reverse, which is a very fast card, but there's, there's been a delay. And now here's your healing energy affirmation oracle. Manifestation of light. I see the beauty in me. I grow and develop my inner self in harmony and light and beauty. I free myself from negativity my heart transforms, my intellect shines, and my inner light grows. I also have some names and some letters. If you would like your name added to the protection box, please leave it in the comment section. Sierra, Sierra. Tia, Tia. Liam, Liam, we have an inspirational tile, forever is composed of nows, forever is composed of nows, and here's your letters, we have an N, N, L, L, K, K, these could be letters that are in your name or someone else's. Last letter, E, E. Thanks, you guys, Libra. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching. Maybe he doesn't like your tags.